All right, this is Chaotic Crypto. It's where we defy tyranny. I uh, wanted to do a market update while we've had a big pullback and another retest of the lows. Um, I wanted to sort of come at everybody and you know kind of show some reassurance in these times of extreme, extreme pessimism and extreme fear. Um, there is a light, you know, at the end of this tunnel. There is a silver lining. Um, I mean point is that we we've never been this oversold you know every, even if we do go down lower it's not going to matter a couple of years from now i mean the projections are, we're we're going to be going back to 60k 75k 80 100k it doesn't really matter we're getting a second chance and opportunity at this whole thing and it's just it's going to be really interesting to see kind of uh how things go but the whole collapse of ftx um, the collapse of Voyager, the collapse of Celsius, the collapse of Three Arrows Capital, the collapse of Luna. I mean, there's going to be so many uh, collapses here. Eventually, it's going to have to stop. And that's when we're going to have the accumulation. And more than likely, what's going to happen, I think the Trad Five, traditional institutions, Wall Street's going to come in and start buying these companies up. They're going to provide liquidity. And hopefully, those people that had accounts with you know Voyager, Celsius, FTX, hopefully they get made whole. Obviously the market's down, but you know if you just you know simplify and hold hold your bags and just kind of hold wait wait this out this thing out, it might be okay. 2022 has been absolutely awful for for most everybody in the markets and in crypto especially for sure. I mean, who would have thought that we would have come down? We haven't been at these levels for two years. We're getting a second. Seriously, we're getting a second chance at this. It's like, and you know there was a lot of froth. There was a lot of leverage. The whole reason for this big, you know, pop was because of all the money printing they were giving us and back in uh, back back in 2020. So, you know, the whole thing is just we're getting another shot at this, and that's and that's okay, you know. And uh, this is going to be a really good opportunity. You know, decentralization, blockchain is the future. The whole scandal of the FTX and our government and the SEC and the CFTC. The regulators did not do their job. They did not. They're not being held accountable. FTX was um, publicly traded. Voyager was publicly traded. Celsius was, you know, regulated within the U.S. Voyager was regulated in the Canadian government. FTX was regulated here, I believe. I mean, the, these regulators were not doing their jobs, and it's not our fault. I mean, we, it is our fault for letting, you know, blockchain and crypto is actually decentralized, and we've let the, the centralized players come in and manipulate it. And how? how it's also sketchy. With FTX, those people are so sketchy. It's scary. I luckily didn't get hit by any of that. I saw some sketchy stuff with them anyway. And, and it, you know, in a bull market, it's just towards the end of a bear bull market, like you're hearing about new coins that all of a sudden are going a thousand X and new companies are just showing up out of nowhere. Where did they come from? So you got to worry about those. You want to stick with the guys that have been around for a few years or they formed in the bear market and grew and the players that come out of nowhere you got to worry about them and whatever those people from FTX I, I don't understand how that happened it's just really sketchy and then the, the big uh, you know crypto I guess the big venture capitalists like Kevin O'Leary's and those people there's something very sketchy but apart from that we've been given an opportunity to get into crypto get into blockchain and you know, Pick the players, pick the projects that are going to help us. You know, my big one's Cardano. I mean, I think they're doing great. And they're actually working on voting technology to be, and they're going to be using some. There's some countries in Africa that are going to start adopting some of their voting blockchain technology they're working on as a test. And we absolutely need that for obvious reasons. So, I mean, we, blockchain is the way for data transparency. It will clear up the clutter and the lies and the mess and just. Everything will be a little bit more real, <laughs> and I think that's something we sorely needed. The internet, you know, brought us a lot of things, but also brought us a lot of manipulation. We don't know who's real, what's real. Someone said this, someone said that. What is this person commenting on my stuff? Are they even real? Are they a bot? The blockchain will fix a lot of these things eventually, and it will fix a lot of. I mean, just co contracts like uh, birth certificates, zero. Um, Zero knowledge roll-ups and uh, proof of identity, but without 
you know, a decentralized proof of identity without your identity being actually becoming publicly known. You can be verified through the blockchain. So there's, there's a lot of cool use cases. And I think that right now is a good time to really rebuild. We probably have a year or two to really figure out which projects are going to work, which ones are not. Again, I mean, Bitcoin is probably the safest one of them all. Ethereum. Ethereum, I'm starting to really wonder about personally. I, you know, the, the centralization, the proof of stake is a big worry for me. But Cardano and ADA, I, I, I love that. I, I love Cardano. Uh, Link, anything with a use case, real utility. So it's going to be interesting to see where things kind of roll. But I, I really think we've, we've hit a bottom. We're just kind of... Uh, you know, we're in, we're in this consolidation. I mean, the, once this weekly cycles, you know, this is the week, um, yeah, the weekly stochastic RSI. Once that's fully recharged, I think we're going to go off the races personally, but we'll see. Okay, let's check out the smaller uh, time frames. And also wanted to check, let's see. Yeah, so the shorts, uh, the people that are betting on the market going down have never been this intense. Um, we had a huge volume spike in the shorts, and I believe it's three to one. Um, you know, it's long. Uh, yeah, so it's th for every three shorts, there's one long. Like, we're going to have a massive, massive short squeeze, I think. Maybe pull up to pull us up to 18 or 19, 20K even. It might just be insane. When it happens, don't know, but when, when it's like this, you gotta really, really wonder. And we've also had a super low um, amount of open interest. That's those people, people that are in open shorts and longs. That's at a low. Fear and greed is still like extreme fear. So what's interesting though is the extreme fear isn't quite as extreme as it was at the 17.5 and 18K level. So maybe people are, I think it's more of a depression anger than it is a fear and greed. But I think uh, the fear is waning. People are just like, whatever now. But it's going to get probably boring more than likely. And if we do get that big spike, it'll get exciting for a minute, but then it might just get really boring again. So something to think about. Um, but we really, I mean, ultimately, we want to get up to the 18, 19K level. We don't want to be stuck in this range for too long because the longer we're in this range, Probably the higher likelihood that we're going to be going down to maybe 14k, 12k. So we really want to get out of this range. Um, four hours coming up. Stochastics not completely oversold yet. It's probably not done with this move. Yeah. So I think uh, what's good is that we rejected from this M pattern. Usually, when you make a big M pattern, you fall down. We did not do that, and if we can get some, get a little more momentum up, and if we can get up and close above the 16.5, 16.8 level, use that as support, then go back up, that would be the most ideal situation. Again, we don't know, know yet what is going to happen, so it's just, we're just going to run through some of these indicators. All right, stochastic daily RSI is starting to rise up. That's actually a really good sign. It's a really good sign. And we also had the largest volume spike on the weekly in the Coinbase chart we've ever had. And that always indicates some kind of reversal. It might not happen immediately, but we're very close. I mean, we're trying to get these prices down. The premium on the uh, stock fishing, like Grayscale uh, BTC, it's trading at 40, 50, 40 to 50% discounts. I mean, as of right now, it's like a 9 or 10K is what the stock ticker if you want to own a share of bitcoin through grayscale it's it's trading at an extreme discount so and if wall street players don't start making use of that i don't know i mean why who will <laughs> who will i mean it's just it's a steal for sure i mean for one bitcoin you'll get two almost I mean, it's just uh, incredible so we'll have to we'll have to see um, daily, not really seeing anything else. There's still plenty of room to come up. Nothing's ever sold. Nothing is really you know, worrying me on the indicators. Let's look on the hourly. Hourly.
probably is a little bit oversold on the stochastic. Eh. <laughs> I mean, we are making a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders. Maybe we come down a little bit more and recharge that and come back up. Ideally, we're making a bull flag and we extend this back up and we come up to 16.5, 16.8 again. Um, but, you know, we, we need good news. We need something positive to happen. The hourly is not that great of an indicator. So we'll have to see about that. Um, but yeah, really just, you just need to hang in here because th these are the, these are the times that kind of really define, you know, men from the boys and you know, like girls from the women type of thing. So like, you know, when I got in the markets, I got in 2017, I saw the whole bull market and it went crazy and then I saw it come down and I was just buying that whole time. And then when it really came down to 3,000, the 3,000 level, um, I'll show it. I'll like, actually let me retract this. But yeah, I got in see come on now I probably got in about right here wrote it up came down I was buying this whole time I was thinking we were gonna go back up and we did and it went down and it went down really hard and that's when I started to get into trading and stuff and I made a whole Bitcoin then I lost it <laughs> actually I think I made, made two Bitcoins on a trade and lost it so just margin trading is not the way but I bought as much as I could here, wrote it up. I was all stoked. I was like, hell yeah, we're going to back up here. And then we came back to re retest it. So that's what could happen. I, honestly, I think, though, with this particular situation, I think once we're out of this range, if we pop up, we're not going to come back down here again. We've already spent plenty of time down here. But it is possible. I mean, you guys realize that like, if we come back up, and let's say we go up to 35K or something crazy, everyone's going to be like all stoked, 40K. Oh, hell yeah. And then we might just come around back down to 21k, 20k. So that that I mean that that'll be next year's type of thing. And then 2024 might be the real excitement. And then we come up. So, but regardless, like this is the time where we build, and this is what's important. So find the good projects and stick with them. And that's some, you know, Solana is a real one I'm really looking into. I think they. Have gotten hit so hard, and yes, Sam Bankman was a heavy holder of them and supporter. But you know, they they're on their own. They have another. You know, they're, they're not reliant on him. So like, getting into Solana now, it could be like getting into Ethereum next cycle. Solana might hit a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars next cycle. So I mean, just ex extrapolate that. <laughs> so. We'll see. I think Cardano is my big player, and then some of the other ones like Zilliqa and you know, Ontology. There's there's a bunch of ones. It's gonna be really interesting to see what what survives. Litecoin apparently has a lot of good moves, good yeah, good news, and possibly good moves coming ahead. Dot's a little bit concerning. Link is gonna be major use case. You just gotta hold on to that one. But uh, I'll start doing more videos here. Uh, daily if I can um, I do have a job so I have to focus on that so we'll see how it all goes but hodl on stay strong it'll it'll be all right you know it doesn't matter if we go down for a little bit more than likely this is gonna be it so peace